Moving on to question number two. Prove that if chords of congruent circles subtain equal angles at their centers, then the chords are of equal length. Now moving on to the solution. Now in the solution, let us consider two circles respectively with the centers O and O dash, and AB and PQ be the equal chords. Let AB and PQ be the chords in the two congruent circles which subtain the equal angles at the center. That is. Angle AOB is equal to angle PO dash Q. Therefore, let us note on the information that there are two congruent circles given with centers O and O dash, and he has also given angles obtained by the chords at the center is of equal. Therefore, here we can say that angle AOB is equal to angle PO dash Q. We need to prove that AB is equal to PQ. In order to prove this, let us consider. In triangle AOB and triangle PO dash Q, OA is equal to PO dash. Since both the circles are congruent, we can say the radii will be equal, and OB is equal to O dash Q. They are also the radii of the circles, and he has given that angle AOB is equal to angle PO dash Q. Now here by SAS property of congruency, we can say triangle AOB is congruent to triangle PO dash Q. Therefore, we know that when two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles can be equated. Therefore, here we can equate AB is equal to PQ. Now the chords which subtend the equal angles at the center are of equal lengths proved.